So yesterday I ran a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys are waiting to apply to the fall 22 term or the fall or spring 23 term and most of you guys answered that you still would like to apply to the fall 22 term. Well, I'm bringing you 10 amazing universities that you can apply to right now if you want to for the fall 22 term. Yes, their deadlines have not passed yet and they are definitely reputable, good level universities. Okay, now I'm making this video from the standpoint of someone who has an average profile. I'm not saying that you would have a topmost profile in the world because then this video would cater to very few people in the audience. And similarly, I'm not assuming that you have a very bad profile as well because then again, this video would not cater to your needs, right? And this is basically true for most programs, but in general, what we are taking examples of over here are CS, MBA, or business analytics programs or information systems programs when I'm showing you these 10 universities, right? So let's get started. The first university in my list is NYU. Now, like I said, these deadlines actually differ from program to program. So you want to check this out for your own program, but I'm going to be showing you the ones that we could find for, you know, these programs. Let's say for, for instance, over here, this is MS in data science. Well, the deadline is actually January 22nd, 2022. And I'm shooting this video on 14th of January. So you still have about, you know, eight good days to actually apply to this university. And NYU, of course, is one of the top most universities, as you already know, right? Even though it's, it, it could be either of the campuses, you know, Corinth or Tannen, but yeah, I, I mean, you can still think that NYU, the degree will actually hold a lot of value when you actually take it to any employer, both of these actually, right? So there's that. Now, if you want to check the admission statistics or your chances for NYU, you can hop onto wiregrad.com, take a look at the search right here, just type in NYU and you should be able to go over here and you can take a look at all these statistics right over here, right? So you can actually go ahead, do that. You can rate your chances, etc., etc. right? It's a definitely a good rank university, that's for sure. Let's move on to the next university over here, the second one, and that is University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Uh, this is actually one of the top most universities. UNC Chapel Hill is one of the top most universities and the deadline right, right here you can see is March 8th, 2022. All right. And this is actually for graduate admissions. Most programs in graduate admissions will continue to accept applications until March the 8th, 2022. So you still have almost two, two and a half months to apply to this university, right? As you can see, fall 22 is definitely not gone yet. That, that would be a wrong thing to say, actually. Now, bringing you back to why I'm grad, you can actually search for UNC Chapel Hill, all right? And let me actually do that. Right here, you can see that we got the UNC Chapel Hill. And you can actually see it's a pretty big university accepting a lot of students, you know, a lot of international students as well. And you can finally take a look at the statistics, engineering, business law, whatever you prefer. You can even take a look at the admission rejects, what kind of profiles are getting in or not, right? So I'm gonna leave that research to you for now. We've covered two universities, we'll move on to the third. And the third one right here is UC Santa Cruz, one of the University of California system universities. Of course, as you can understand, just having that on your CV is a big, big thing nowadays. And on top of that, UC Santa Cruz is actually a pretty great university to be in, not only in terms of the location, but in, in terms of academics and research as well. For in terms of the deadline, when you take a look at it, right, we're taking a look at the computer science page, for instance, over here, and CSC PhD program deadlines has passed. Now, in terms of the master's program deadline, that is still 24th of January, 2022. So you have about 10 good days to actually apply. And on top of that, GRE scores are not required for admission, right, both for MS or PhD programs. Of course, PhD, you cannot apply at the moment, but MS programs, you guys can actually go ahead and apply. Now, when we take a look at UC Santa Cruz over here, let me actually write this correctly, UCSC, right? UC Santa Cruz. You can see the ranking is pretty great. The university in itself is actually pretty great. It's accepting a lot of applicants per se. The average statistics, etc., etc., is already in front of you and you can take a look at the admission rejects. We'll move on to our fourth university over here and that is UC Riverside. Again, one more university of California system uh, university, of course, and UC Riverside, again, it's not the top most university in that system, but you will definitely see that UC Riverside is still better than a lot of universities that you would find in California. In fact, many, many universities, right? And of course, like I said, this is for someone who has an average profile. So you need safer universities as well. UC Riverside could be your moderate or safe university for the most part. Now, the priority deadline has passed for PhD applicants, but general admission deadline for international applicants is March the 1st. That means you still have about one and a half, two months, right? To actually send in your applications. If you'd like to take a look at these statistics, you can come back to wamgrad.com and you can type in UC Riverside and you will find that it's a decently ranked university, right? A decent university, and apart from that, the statistics are in front of you. The fifth university on my list is the Washington University in St. Louis. You can take a look at the application deadlines over here, the master's application deadlines for fall entry right here, you can see, 
is basically the 1st of March for full-time masters, right? So you still have about two and a half months to apply right here, March 1st, right? And the, the decision is of course by 31st March and the reply is by May 1st. It is actually pretty great. So they're giving you a lot of time and they're not taking a lot of time. So, you know, that's that's the important part over here. They'll give you a decision quickly, right? Apply quickly and they'll, uh, they'll reply quickly. And on top of that, you don't have to give them the decision as soon as possible. So if you are waiting for some other decisions, you can do that because May the 1st is the reply deadline. So you still have a lot more time than most universities will give you actually. Now coming back to Wangrad for its ranking again, you can take a look at Washington St. Louis. Let me just open that up. You can see it's a pretty well ranked university in itself, right? The location, however, is Missouri. So please take a look at that. But apart from that, the location, however, is Missouri. So you can see the location is the only negative factor over here in the most cases. But apart from that, I would say it's a pretty damn good university that you can still apply to. The sixth university on my list is TAMU, Texas a &M University. For instance, we're taking you to the management school over here, MIS program, the deadline over here, priority deadline has already passed. Please take a note of that. This is not the priority deadline, right? This means that you may not get scholarships if you apply right now. The, the second one, the international applicant final deadline is February 15th. You still have about one month to go and I still recommend applying to this university. Coming back to imgrad.com for its ranking, we'll search for TAMU over here. And you can find that it's a pretty decently ranked university. Texas universities, of course, are coming with a lot of advantages that you may not realize right now, but I've made several videos about them. So please keep them in mind. The seventh university on my list is the university at Buffalo. It's also called SUNY Buffalo. So take a look at this. And right here, you can see that, you know, the deadlines, I believe they have mentioned it over here for the fall enrollment is February 15th. 2022 of course right and they also accept applications on a rolling basis what rolling means is that you can continue to apply even after 15th february and you know what they'll do is if they have a seat for you they will give it to you that's it right so basically that's how it works again this is for uh, the institute of computational and data sciences you can check it for your institute your you know college which, whatever you like to call it but at the end of the day it's a pretty great university to apply to decent enough and if you'd like to take a look at the ranking over here let me actually type in buffalo right and oh sorry about that buffalo suny right so this is the one suny at buffalo pretty decently ranked not too bad this is the world ranking of course and on top of that you know a lot of international students i know already are going into this university a good location that's the biggest pro of this university of course the eighth university on my list is indiana university at bloomington now I really like this university to be very honest with you, not only because of its location, it's located in a very scenic area, but on top of that, it's actually a very good university as well. Really, really great teaching staff, really, really great professors, and really great research going on. Now, in terms of the application deadlines, they've laid them out very, very clearly. These are the spring ones, but we're looking at the fall ones, so let's just scroll down over here. Now, you can see that the PhD deadlines have actually passed, all of them, but for MS, the applications actually opened on 1st of June, they opened them pretty early but the deadline was 1st of January in terms of the priority deadline. The second round is still open right now. So 26th February, you can still apply until then. That means you still have a good amount of time. And if you'd like to know about IUB, I think it's actually a very well-known university. Let me actually open this up right here, IUB. And you can take a look over here. It's very well ranked, good location, Indiana. And you know, it's a very scenic location. It's a beautiful location. <laughs> in terms of jobs, of course, there's better locations out there, I know. But you know, this is still a very beautiful place. And I personally think it's very close to my heart as well. All right, the admission statistics, of course, are underneath. Please note that IUB is much more well known for business programs than it is for engineering programs. So please keep that in mind. The ninth university on my list is Syracuse University, a decent enough university located in New York. So you already know that it's pretty damn great, right? The application deadlines right here, as you can see, for let's say College of Engineering Computer Science is May the 1st, 1st of May. That means you still have a lot of time to apply over here, right? And of course, you can take a look at the deadlines for all other kinds of schools. For instance, the School of Management right here, you are, you've just passed the round two deadline. You're passing it, by the way, tomorrow. But after that, you still have two more rounds. So you can still go ahead and apply. If you'd like to know more about Syracuse University, you can hop onto wangrad.com and just search for that. And right here, you'll find that it's a decent university located in New York. Of course, you can take a look at your chances based on your profile if you're signed up, etc., etc. right? And of course, there are other details over here as well that you can take a look at. My final university for this list would be 
Rochester Institute of Technology. Again, this would be a safe university for most of you guys. I'm showing you the Saunders College of Business. This is basically an MBA application as far as I remember. And in terms of the deadlines right over here, let me actually just search for that. It's not easy to find it over here. Let me just show you. Application deadlines, right? And over here you can see August 1st is the deadline for the fall semester. That means you are far, far away from passing the deadline. In fact, you could basically sit down for one month and apply later on as well. But I recommend if you're really applying for the fall 22 term, go ahead and apply as soon as possible. It's a decent university. Let me actually show you the rankings and everything right over here. Let me just type in RIT. Oh, I think that's not going to be coming up. <laughs> Rochester Institute of Technology. Okay, that's a pretty safe university as you can see in terms of the rankings the only factor i would say is going in its favor is the location and of course in terms of job market it is very well located in the heart of new york so that's something that you can look up to right other additional statistics are of course present over here you can take a look at the admission rejects if you want all of these things are with you at this moment if you want to take, use these you know you can actually use these for free all right i hope this video helps you there's a lot more universities like this by the way for fall 22 let me know in the comments down below which university you are going to be applying to for fall 22 where the deadline has not passed yet and of course subscribe to the channel for more such videos and follow me on instagram because such updates are often given out on that page as well